Pete's not here, is she? No, she's in her room. It's Pete and Simon. They've taken them down the station. Pete won't let me go. Oh, Paul, what am I going to do? But they haven't done anything. No, of course they ain't. Once they get you inside those places, I'll tell you, I couldn't work on the store. I've sent Ian after him in a taxi. I've shut up shop. Did they say why? Questions. Oh, blimey, I'd like to ask someone a few questions. Well, Pete always had had a temper, but he wouldn't do anything like that, I mean, not even to Pat. But he has hit her before, when they were married. Quite bad and all, I think. Yeah, well, that was a bit different. Was it? I tell you, if he ever laid a finger on me, he wouldn't see me for dust. No matter how much I love him. Kathy, what are you doing? Are you trying to convince yourself he's guilty or something? No. It's just, he told me he'd been wandering about all night, thinking, well, sitting, actually, on his dad's grave. I mean, talking things over with your dad. Can you believe that? Well, he did always go to Dad. But, well, they fell out over Pat. But sitting there all night in the cemetery. Police are going to love it, aren't they? If they don't think he killed her in cold blood, they're going to think he's gone around the twist and done it. Look, she's not dead. Not quite. What about Simon? Well, he's got a scratch on his face. You've seen it. Maybe they were in it together. I mean, they both ate her. <laughs> yes. Oh, hello. I hope you don't mind, but I saw Kath come in here. Yeah? Uh, you are opening up again, are you, Kath? Because I ain't got me veg yet. Since when did you get your veg from us? Oh, quite often. Here. Was that Pete they took away? You got Cooper's dock where you buy his muddy veg a lot cheaper. Then you come creeping past us, hoping we won't notice. Well, a woman's entitled to shop around. Oh, more places to spread your gossip, eh? You just lay off, Pete. Do you hear? Are you threatening me? Yes. Ooh. Push off, Doc. Just go well, on. Well, I was only... No wonder you ain't got no customers. Oh. Everyone's gone mad. Dad, where's my mum? Why? What's that? You know, I've been to see Arthur. He says that life's a series of problems that you just have to solve. And there was me thinking life was just a bowl of cherries. And then, can you believe what he said? He says, think how bored cherries get lying around in a bowl all day waiting for something to happen. Only the worry of being eaten hanging over their head. Very nice. <laughs> oh, no, no. He said, that's all part of life's rich pattern. Oh. Well, at least it can't get any worse, eh? Mum! Mum! It's dead. He's only gone and hit a copper. I got him out of the car and he just turned around and he's gone smash. He's hit one square in the jaw. 